Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking at this really cool little RC simulated light sound kit that I got in from GT Power. They were kind of to send me a whole box of goodies of different stuff like these uh, sound, uh, car sound simulators and chargers. And I'll be taking a look at a lot of those over the next coming uh, weeks on my channel. And this one here is the Bluetooth version, so it means you can control this through your phone of RC car sounds and light simulator. And I've got it all connected here on my table because I haven't decided yet what car I'm going to put it into because you do need to have you know, an ESC and receiver and stuff. The integrated in ESC receiver combos and that don't always have the correct wiring for this. So this is more your hobby grade. And I do have some of those cars. I just haven't decided which one I'm going to put it on yet. But anyway, as you can see here, on the front of the box, it shows that you use an app on your phone and it lets you connect by Bluetooth when the car is up close to you and you can change the lights and you can change the sounds and just a lot of stuff that this, this can do. It's really, really neat and really cool. I've never had one of these on any of my RC cars. So what we're going to do now is just go through over everything and tell you what all is included. You can see most of it's here on the table and then I'll connect it to the Bluetooth on my phone and we'll test out some of the sounds and how the lights and everything works so what you can see here is you get this control box and this connects with the bluetooth to your phone and this is how it all connects so some of the things here are not included obviously this is receiver to my dumbo rc controller and this is a brushless esc and of course my battery but everything else comes inside of here so you get these servo uh, wires and some of them already connected to the control box. So it looks like you get four set of the, sets of those. And then you get some little, um, the little um, brackets to hold the LED lights to mount them inside the shell or the body of your car. Some zip ties and some 3M uh, adhesive to uh, tie everything down. You get a USB, this is a micro USB cable. This is for um, flashing the firmware, like with the sounds and updating everything if you want to change it you can actually flash this module and it goes into the usb is on the side i believe here it's right up here you plug it in and you can do that from a computer and then you've got all your different lights here red and orange for turn signals and white for front headlights red for your brakes or your back or backing up lights your reverse you got your big speaker here and this is pretty darn loud and you get um, this power cable to a dean's plug lets you splice in the power and that comes in here and i believe that powers the speaker but the actual box does not power up until you get a servo wire plugged in so it probably because this is running in on you know two, i got a 2s ba uh, lipo battery here two three i think you can go up three four s whatever it is and that powers a speaker, I believe, but this is probably off your 5 volts, off your servo. So that's why it doesn't actually power up until you get your ESC uh, plugged in, which I got plugged in right here. This is like the um, accelerator and your steering. So the top, um, the plug is for a uh, connecting um, the servo for uh, steering and your, um, your, your power in here. For your um, ESC then over here you've got the plugs here for connecting up you can see the receiver comes in here and um, let's see see I got it all wired up so I'm kind of like thinking as I'm looking at it here but it's pretty self-explanatory once you look at the labels because some of the stuff it doesn't I'm not seeing the labels but I've gone through and connected it all up so anyway that's enough of that so what we we'll do is I'm gonna go um, connect this to the phone get it powered up and we'll come back and then i'll demonstrate some of the sounds and how all that stuff does obviously when i flip this uh, switch here it'll power everything up so i know i'm kind of rambling but i just um you know looking at all this stuff you have to kind of look at the instruction manual because the instruction manual is inside the app or you can download it from the gt power website and i'll show you that within the app when we open it up and then you have this qr code you can scan and this is going to let you on Google Play, which since I'm, on, since I'm on Android, allows you to go. It actually doesn't take you to the Google Play Store. I, didn't, I couldn't find the specific app, but it takes you to the website, and then they have the APK 
to download for Android. And of course, you got to make sure that your phone is set to allow unauthorized apps to install since it's not coming directly from Google Play. And then, of course, this one, I, haven't, I, I don't have a way of testing out App Store, but hopefully this is on the iOS store, but I can't say for certain on that uh, little piece of paper. So let me just pause the video, and I'm going to go um, power thing up, and then we'll test it out. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I have it connected to the app, and I got a screen recording going, so I'll put this video up here on the side so you can actually see what I'm doing within the app. You do go into select device, and then you can select the Bluetooth module and connect, and then you're good to go. Down here, you've got the synchronize button, which I think that's going to basically save your settings. So the next time you open the app, you don't have to change all that. Then you have a whole bunch of other stuff here. Now this, I can change the sound. I got it way down. I can go all the way down here. You can see we don't have anything. You can just hear the fan going on the ESC. Now, I did mention a while ago, this is the ESC. Uh, power comes in, it's powering this unit. And then this powers, I believe is a speaker coming off your Dean's plug. The one above it will go to your servo. I don't have a servo connected. That's your steering servo. That's not really that important because it still is getting the signal from the controller. So I have my Dumbo RC powered up here. So what let's do, let's just turn the sound up a little bit. We don't want it really loud because we're not gonna be able to hear it. I'll show you how loud it gets. You can, you can actually see it. It gets really loud, but that's cool because when you're outdoors and the noise in your car, you want it to be loud. If it's really low, you're not going to hear it. And then you've got all these, you know, you've got some information here, 58 sounds, uh, different sound um, that it can do in the firmware version there. Then under here, you've got all these different sound that you can change. So as you can see here, I can change it to like, it says a Cobra Daytona. So you click, you get it on the Cobra, click on Audition, and it that's, telling, that's giving you a sample sound on your phone. And then you click on select and that will change it it should let's see if we do it here and then let's see if we i thought that it changed in the past let's try it maybe it was already on that let's try standard two on click that and click there we go now it's gonna it's a standard two you can see a different engine sound it does it starts up and then it's like it stops and starts again. I don't know what happened there. Let's go try standard one. You have to click on the audition. You want to stop that. That's just giving you a sample on your phone. And press select. It says number one. There we go. Let's see if we can get it here with the controller. There we go. And it gives us a sample. I got to start it up. So now you got the engine going. Then let's give it some throttle. And then you can see it brake doesn't break a little bit, you know, it does a little bit, but let's go. What it had done while I go is it sort of like turned itself off. That's why when I was trying to get it to go, it was like shut off. Let's go to the Cobra again, audition. I don't like that. The audition is basically giving you, lets you hear on your phone what you're going to set it to, but you have to kind of select it every time before you can actually change it. In number five. Let's see, we have to actually give it throttle again. There we go. And there's our different sound there. Pretty neat. So, I just, I was just as you can see, I'll scroll through, you got all these different sounds you can select for different types of cars. Now let's go over and now look at the lights. As you can see here, we've got our white lights in the front are lit up. Let's go, you can go to flashing mode. You see all the lights are flashing, the red, the white, the orange. I, I, I got them all plugged in here on the side, you know, and you can keep them on all the, all the time solid if you wanted to. Slow blinking. You can turn them off all together if you wanted to. You just for some reason you didn't want your lights to work. But I'm gonna put it on standard. And what we'll do then is I'll show you when you do the turn, I got the white lights as I'm driving at night. Now I'm going to turn. You can see my right turn signals come on and my left turn signal. You can see there's a different set of lights. And then you get the clicking, <laughs> the annoying turn signal sound that you get inside of a car whenever you're doing that. 
And then you should be able, if you go to break, sometimes I have trouble getting this to go, but it, it should come on with like a reverse light here. There we go, see? You're in reverse and you get your, your reverse lights. So pretty darn neat. You got some other settings, some throttle response and uh, just something, some stuff here with your shifting, how you want to adjust. Some of us adjusted and didn't notice a difference. It probably depends on which sound package you're running and how, you know, all that stuff. And let's go into the settings. You've got, I said it's set to 2S LiPo. So if you're going to change this, you can go um, like a three, uh, a life nickel, a metal hydrate or NICAD battery. And then a number of cells here. So we're on a 2S LiPo. We're not going to change that. So as you can see though, you could go all the way up to six cells. And then it's got some low voltage warnings and stuff you can set. Turn off sound output. Turn off ESC output and different stuff like that. And then you've got your manual here. And let's take a look at that. So you press that. It will load up the manual. And there is the GT Power PDF that's loaded with an app. And it shows you the app QR codes that the piece of paper had. And there's your wiring diagrams for your verse light and all that stuff you can see. If you need to see any of this, just pause the video. I'll try to put this a decent size within the video. So you can pause this if you want to take a closer look. First horn, second horn, and your wiring uh, list up at the top. Product list. And then the wiring, of course, for the module. And this operation cautions. And then explain how to use the app here and all the good stuff right here LED status there are some blue lights here so that's telling you some stuff if it let you know what it's all doing by the LED status and then just some USB mode sound selecting and warranty information so the app is pretty decent you know it's not bad at all and you have a lot of different sounds you can do and it's gonna really make your RC car really really cool so just really really neat again it can get really loud and you can find some really cool sounds it fits whatever car you have you know if you have a truck you might find one it sounds more like a truck and we have a race car you can sound like a race car or a ford mustang or whatever you need to find the right sound for your use all right guys i think that wraps it up this is a pretty neat product i'll include a purchase link to banggood if you're interested in this they sell it um, I think AliExpress has it as well. And you can pick this up. Um, you know, GT Power, I don't think has a list, one specific one listed on their website. I don't think they directly sell. But you can definitely get this from Banggood, which I will include an affiliate link to them. So if you choose to pick this up, you're supporting the channel, but you're not paying an extra cent for the product. All right, guys, that wraps up the review of the GT Power uh, Bluetooth sound module. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And at the same time, click that bell. That way you're notified every time I upload a new video. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day. The power of the dark side, 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 side.